In the next couple of videos we're going to build a new graphical user interface and this user interface is going to basically enable us to view the log files the successful logins and the unsuccessful logins that we generated from our previous application which was the mock login screen. This application is going to have a slightly different user interface layout which we'll cover in a moment but just to run through the functionality of the application first. The user will have an area where they can type in a file name. So for example we can type in the name of the file that we, one of the names of the files that we generated in the last login application which is login failures.txt and we can click on load and it will load in all of the entries in that login failures.txt file. The area that displays each event in the log file is a list box and the list box can be used to just list items. We'll also see down the bottom of the screen there's an area that reports on activity. So for example when we loaded the login failures.txt file we get a message to say login failures.txt successfully loaded 16, 16 items added to the list. We can also select items in the center of the screen in the list box and we can click on an item and remove it. So for example if we load the file again it will load back in all the original 16 items and we can remove items as we want by clicking on the item and clicking the remove button. So we've got some activity being trapped on the uh, action events for clicking the load button and the remove button. We also have some keyboard events that are being trapped so for example if I type in login underscore success dot text and instead of clicking the load button I can simply hit enter on my keyboard and it will load in the contents of that file. And again we see that we've got a little er a message being reported at the bottom of the screen. If I type in an invalid name for example if I leave off the login underscore from this and if I try and load that it will clear out the list box and it will give me an error message to say could not load log file success.txt. If I fix that and put in the login underscore and click on load or hit enter it will load the file. So that's the basic operation of our login viewer and in order to build this application we're going to look at a different kind of layout. We're going to look at something called a border layout and the border layout splits the screen into five parts a north, south, west, center and east. So the very first thing that we're going to do is build a very basic border layout. So in order to do that what we'll do is we'll build a border layout and we'll just simply place a button in the north position, a button in the south position and a button in the west position, center and east. So we start off with our kind of template application that just extends JFrame. It has a constructor, it sets the window title and the main method is pretty much the same as it usually is except we're creating a my window from this particular class which is week 10 example 6. So to begin with we will add in the button variables that we need. So I'm going to say private J button and I'm going to need 
a button for the north and I'll declare using a comma the next button again of type J button button south and then a button in the west position center and east so there are my J button variables the next thing I'll need to do is I need to create the user interface so again rather than putting the code in here I'm going to create a function called create user interface and I'll place all my user interface code in that function or method so I'll call it from the constructor create user interface and this call to, the, to this method will be to build the user interface of course I'll have to define that method so I'm going to write it in underneath the constructor so I'll say public void create user interface it's not going to take any arguments and the first thing that I'll need to do is to actually create my button objects so I'll say create J button objects okay so for each of the buttons that I've defined above I'll need to create a button so button north equals new J button and I'll say I'll give the text of that as north and then I'll say button south equals new J button and I'll set the text of that as south and again for each of the other buttons that I have so J uh, button west equals new J button and for center okay so I've got all of my button objects created now so button north equals new button and set the text for that and so on now what I need to do is I need to grab a handle to the content pane so I can place my buttons on it so I once again grab handle to the content pane so that grabs a handle to this windows content pane and again to do that I say container C equals get content pane. Now I want to set the layout for this content pane. I'm not going to use a flow layout or a grid layout, I'm going to use a border layout. So I say C dot set layout. Just make sure we get the spelling right. Set layout and I'm going to say new border layout so I'm using a border layout here instead of a flow layout or a grid layout okay let's begin to add our components to this layout so add UI components to the layout and again to do this I say C dot add and the first thing I'm going to add is my button for the north now when I add the button for the north position in I want to specify where it needs to go and in order to do that I can use the border layout position so I can say border 
layout dot north. So this tells my content pane, okay, you've got a border layout and you're going to take the button north and you're going to position it in border layout dot north. And similarly, I can do C dot add. Let's do the north and south first. So button south and I'll say border layout dot south. And C dot add button west border layout dot west c dot add button center border layout dot center and finally c dot add button east border layout dot east So, if my code hasn't got any syntax errors in it, we should be ready to compile. So, just to recap, I declared my button variables. There's five in total, north, south, east, center, uh, or west, e uh, center, and east. Um, I created my, I made a call to my create user interface method in the constructor. And then I went and defined that create user interface method. And in there, I create my button objects and set the text for them as well. And I grab a handle to the content pane and set the layout to a new border layout. And then I add each of my button objects into that layout. And I call button north and I make sure that I use the border layout that north and that tells it to add the button to the north position and so on and so on. So hopefully when we compile this we shouldn't get any errors. Oh, and we do. So let's see what's going on here. So button west. We have a problem here. So button west, it's saying error cannot find symbol c dot add btn west border layout dot west, and that is because if we have a look really closely, I've spelt border layout incorrectly. I have a lowercase l, and it should be an uppercase l. So let's save that and recompile. Okay, seems to have compiled, so let's run it and see what we have. So, here we have our application, and as you can see, there's a button in the north position, a button in the south position, west, center, and east. Now the nice thing about the border layout is I don't have to place something into each of the five positions. So for example, if I didn't want a west and an east and only wanted something in the center, like our log viewer application, it will have something up the top, a label down the bottom for showing messages, and then something in the middle. I can just omit the west and east portions. So if we quit and go to our program, and if I simply comment out adding something into the west position and comment out adding something into the east position so now I only add to north and south and center save it and run Now we have an application that has something in the north position and as you can see the center has now spread out the full width of the J-frame because nothing has been added to the west and nothing has been added to the east it now takes up all of that space and the south still 
appears in the bottom. And this is the basic layout that we will use for the Log Viewer application. In the next couple of videos, we'll extend on this and build up the user interface components in each of these border layout locations.